Hi, this is Jimmy the Fontmeister and welcome to the Font Lab tutorial series. Today I want to show you some tips and tricks about ScanFont. We get so many questions about this product that uh, I thought it would be good if we just went over it together. Okay, so here's what I've done. I've used my scanner to uh, scan a character that I created. Now I'm just going to check on the file import menu that it's got my HP little scanner. And then I'm going to go to File and Acquire. And I want to get this um, brought into ScanFont. Okay, so let's see what we got here. We ended up with a character brought into ScanFont. And I want to talk about this for a minute. On my piece of paper, this character is three inches tall. You see those uh, artifacts, uh, those lines. I actually uh, purposely drew some lines to help myself remember to to write this letter at uh, three inches tall. A little trick of the trade is to always go three inches tall and 300 DPI. Now, the reason that I say uh, scan your character at three inches tall and 300 DPI is because if you have a fancy scanner that does like 1200 dpi you're going to get a lot of these artifacts like you see here these uh, extra lines and you're going to get much more information than you want so play it safe uh, make your life easy 300 dpi three inches tall okay now i want to show you a common problem that comes up once you've got the character in scan font you go to image Place into font, leave everything at the defaults. We'll come back and look at this later. And a lot of people are getting this error here. There are a lot of uh, settings that you could go into to um, work around this error, but what I want to suggest is you go back to tools and options and then say export outline font into a VFB file. That way it won't be going directly into type tool or font lab, but you'll get a database file which you could later open up in type tool or font lab. Or for that matter you can open that up in Fontographer. So now here's what I'm going to do. Image and just place into font. Leave the defaults here. I did want to show you this that it's kind of fun to me though those are too many points so you can play with this here and you know see if you can improve the uh, quality of the trace generally the fewer points the better until the points begin to distort the shape so we're gonna leave that for now and I'm going to save this on the desktop as a VFB file. Okay, so now I'm going to open up Type Tool. And then I'm going to open up that test file. And let's take a look at our character. Here is our character right here. And all we've got to do now is to... Uh, clean up the paths and points and scale it and place it on the baseline and you know just kind of take it from there so what we've done now is we've effectively gotten a, a bitmap trace from a piece of paper on a scanner into the into a font thank you for watching the font lab tutorial series let us know if you have any ideas for any other topics you'd like to see covered in the series and as always, check your scan font user manual for more details.